Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for wireless Chris Whitaker. Welcome to the Wireless Group Wednesday, and if you're a University of Georgia fan, congratulations on back-to-back -back national championships. That might be a tough topic for some of you, but it is uh, a fact. Back-to-back -back champs, uh, UGA, what a great story, and Stetson Bennett the IV, uh, great story. The guy was told he wasn't good enough. He was told you know, hey, go get more experience elsewhere at a junior college, and maybe we'll talk to you later. Did that, comes back, walk on, try out, no scholarship, second string quarterback. Well, they would have it. He ends up being the quarterback and takes Georgia to two national championships from a guy that was written off. Didn't even give a shot. Wasn't even given a chance originally wasn't favored to win. You know, another story I like uh, going way back to the early 1900s is that of Humison. Uh, he was a cowboy, riverboat gambler, mule skinner, dropped out of school in eighth grade. What good could come of a guy like that, right? Well, a lot, apparently. So he uh, was known to love to tinker around with uh, mechanical things. It was just really, you know, had a really good sense about him. Uh, got along with everybody. Just a great guy, you know, easy going. Uh, and he met Edwin Hubble. You, know, you probably have heard of the Hubble telescope, Big Bang Theory. Well, at uh, Mount Wilson, where they built the first uh, large observatory in the early 1900s, uh, Humason worked there as a janitor. Came friends with Hubble. Hubble was known to be a very difficult guy to get along with. You know, he was a World War I uh, Army major, you know, during combat, um, became a world-renowned astronomer, you know, stargazer. Difficult guy to work with. Well, Hubble uh, and Humason became friends, and Humason uh, became uh, like an intern, if you will, you know, uh, a, a night observer. You know, if you're, if you're watching the galaxy uh, from a rock that's spinning around the sun, uh, you have to continuously adjust your telescope to keep it on target. Well, the night observer, that was their job. While the, the while Hubble rested, Humason kept the telescope pointed at the, the Milky Way, the galaxy that he was studying. And, and he started to observe things and notice things. And even Hubble says, hey, I, I, you know, there probably wouldn't have been a big bang theory if it wasn't for Humason. So what an unlikely partnership. You know, you have a football player quarterback last night that was not considered the best. Prove he is a great leader and a great quarterback. You don't get lucky twice and go and win the national championship. I don't know if luck luck helps ever all of us, but that wasn't luck. Then you got Humison, you know, a guy that dropped out of school in eighth grade, cowboy, mule skinner, gambler. Credited to help and discover one of the biggest uh, discoveries in, in uh, astronomy. So, who are you? What are you doing? You know, are, are, have, has anyone written you off? You know, do you think you're not qualified to help your customers and help your business partners, help your network achieve great things? I believe you can. Uh, have a great day. See you next week on Wireless Wit Wednesday. And reach for the stars. Is that too corny? I don't know. But uh, reach for the stars sounds appropriate right now. Take care.